Hello and welcome back to Friday Minis. Now, I want you to consider the two following statements, starting from statement one. All good burgers have cheese in them. So that is statement number one. Now let's move on to look at statement number two. And that is, all burgers with cheese in them are good. Now, I want you to take a close look at these two statements. In fact, pause the video if you have to, have a thinker, and tell me if you think these two statements are the same. Let's move on to take a closer look at our statements, and what we're going to do is we're going to try and approach them from a slightly different perspective and question them. And that is where things start to become very different. So, question number one for this statement, can a good burger not have cheese in it? Now, clearly, the answer to this is no, because, well, this directly contradicts the statement itself. We've already said that all good burgers have cheese in them. So, well, you can't find a good burger that doesn't have cheese. Let's try a slightly different question. Can a bad burger have cheese in it? Now, think about this carefully. This statement itself tells us something about good burgers, but not about bad ones. In fact, we have no information about bad burgers at all. And what this means is, yes, it's entirely possible for a bad burger to have cheese in it, at least in the world described by this statement. Now let's take a look at statement number two, and we're going to ask the same two questions. And let's see how things square up differently. First, can a bad burger have cheese in it? Now, we already know that all burgers with cheese in them are good, and therefore, no. This question contradicts the statement itself, and so we can confidently say that no, we'll never find a bad burger that has cheese in it. The next question is of course the tricky one. Can we find a good burger that doesn't have cheese in it? Again, this statement only tells us about burgers with cheese in them. It doesn't tell us anything about those without. And therefore, we have no information to answer this question. And we are forced to say that yes, it is entirely possible for a good burger to not have cheese in it. Breaking these two statements down into their sort of logical mathematical forms makes it more clear that they are actually completely different statements. Starting from our first statement, we can actually say that good burger implies having cheese. The other statement is where things are a little bit different. In fact, the entire relation is flipped on its head. Having cheese in the burger implies that it is a good burger. So you realize that the implication sign in the middle of the statement has been flipped the other way around. This brings us to the core message behind this video, and that is the difference between necessary and sufficient conditions. In our first statement, we say that it is necessary to have cheese for a burger to be good. In other words, you cannot find good burgers without cheese because, well, it's a necessary condition. Things are slightly different for statement number two, it is just sufficient to have cheese for a burger to be good. In other words, we can find good burgers without cheese. And that is the key difference between these two statements. So yeah, that's why logic can get a little bit confusing for the very simple reason that, well, statements that sound very similar can in fact behave very differently if we try to break it down. That's all there is for this episode of Friday Minis. I hope that didn't make you hungry, but until next time, you're watching 0612 TV. Thank you very much for watching. If you like my work and are feeling generous, you can shoot me a one time donation on PayPal or sign up for a recurring one on Patreon. Of course, you can simply like, comment, and subscribe. You know the deal. For more videos, links to my channel and a related playlist are on screen. Thank you for your support.